what's up guys? I just showed up at Kings Island. It's about 9.45 a.m. And I'm meeting up with some enthusiasts today. So, about to walk through security. We'll catch you guys inside. All right guys, so I'm in the park. Um, I'm meeting up with Coaster Ego to start out with, and then eventually meeting up with Coaster Cat 465, I think is her username, and her friend Block Breaks, who I actually know absolutely nothing about. But we should be having a good time today, so hopefully we meet other enthusiasts as well. I love coming out here and meeting the enthusiasts. And we're going to start a day off with let's see it. Diamondback. Let's go. Oh, and let me be clear, cl ugh, can't speak. Let me be clear, guys. When it's raining, well, not even raining. When it looks like it's going to rain, but it's just hit and miss, come to the park because it is a ghost town today. There literally, when I pulled up in the parking lot, was probably 110 cars. So it's going to be a fun day, even if, <coughs> excuse me, even if the rides break down. Not break down, but don't run in the rain. Half the time, we'll be able to ride anyway. So, let's go. Diamondback, first ride of the day. There it goes, down its drop. I'm out here with Jesse from Costa Rica. And we just got in line for Mr. Timbers. There was a walk online. I just bought a locker, and knowing my luck, the ride shuts down for weather. But hopefully the locker will not go to waste. It's preventing me from carrying my bag. Sure, we'll go with that. Guys, guess what? The beast is 2-9 for weather also, so we're not riding that either. Where are we off to next? This time I'm back, going through it splash down. Alright, Jesse, where are we off to next? Vortex? Vortex? Yeah, we'll try and ride something. Well, guys, it turns out everything is closed because there's a storm rolling in. Do you want to ride Jake Rod Wheel? Flight of Fear! Flight of Fear! Flight of Fear! Oh wait, yeah, Flight of Fear might be open. Yeah, so everything is closed because there's a storm rolling in and you can actually hear thunder in the background. I think Flight of Fear will be open. If not, I'm going to be mad. Yeah. I'm still mad that I just paid for a locker and might waste it. Oh well. The park is dead though, so when the weather does clear up, we're going to get really, really short lines. You gotta be kidding me. Why would Flight of Fear be closed? It's indoor. Oh, there's lightning. Here comes the thunder very soon. We're turning around. Let's go get your bag. Let's go show them the best house. Yeah, we're gonna go get my. Yep, there's the thunder. We've been thunderstruck. Oh, here comes pouring down rain. I gotta put my camera away. We'll catch you guys at the festival. Just kidding. We went under a game because it just started instantly pouring. Uh, yeah, quite a few is closed, and all my stuff is in a locker at Mystic, so hopefully I can go get it and that this stops sometime within the next hour. Oh well, what do you think about this rain, Jess? Alright, guys, it finally stopped raining, so we're gonna ride Delirium. Are you excited? Are you excited, Jesse? Delirium. Let's go. Guys, the good news is I got two rides in on Mystic Timbers before my locker expired, so we're in good shape. Good. About to ride it again, actually. Uh, the park is pretty dead, and I don't think it's going to rain again anytime soon, so yeah, let's keep riding some more coasters. Oh, sorry. Guys, we got row six. You ready to ride? You ready to ride? What? Row six. Row six, man. Let's go. All right, guys. So after two rides on Mystic Timbers, we're gonna head to the Beast, and we're gonna look for the little groundhog sun that everyone's been posting about. I don't care what you think about the whole Son of Beast revival thing, but I thought the groundhog was pretty funny. So let's hope he's still there for a third day in a row. Okay guys, I haven't picked up the camera for a couple hours. Uh, I did meet up with Coaster Cat and uh, Flock Brakes, but they were not feeling well and were a little, I don't think that they wanted to be on camera, so I decided not to even film during that time. But I really enjoyed hanging out with you guys, so thank you very much. I hope we can hang out later in the day. We'll know for sure whether or not by the time this video is edited, but for now, thanks so much for being with me. Um, 
Yeah, I'm just chilling by myself. I think I'm going to go ride Banshee. Because I haven't rode it yet today. Or I might ride Racer, so I'm going to say hi to Brandon again. But it's about that day. Yeah, it's been pretty good today. The weather has cleared off really well and really nicely. And also, the another great thing, it's been walk-on lines all day ever since I got here. That hasn't changed. So, it's been a great day. And we'll see what happens for the rest of the day. I'll keep you guys updated. Alright guys, I've decided I'm going to ride Firehawk while the line is somewhat short because usually it's like a half hour away because it's not by the ride ops fault but naturally has horrible operations with all the issues it's had and everything. So yeah, I'm gonna go ride Firehawk. I do not like the looks of this. Okay. Hopefully that holds off. Okay, so while I'm alone here and on the topic of the uh, Son of Beast revival, what are my opinions on it? I know I put an Instagram TV video up about it, but that's not when that goes by. I know I put an Instagram TV video up about it, but no one really gave me feedback. So, here's what I think about the Son of Beast revival. I think it's uh, stupid, to say the least. Um, look, when I when I wrote these coasters, I know there's obvious theming, but you shouldn't have to dig for theming. Like the park would definitely let us know if they were teasing it. And I'm not being mean to people who think it could come back. It could. I mean, there are outpost five logos everywhere, but I just personally think it's kind of goofy. I think it's really good for you. And, um, what do I think the coaster will be? I couldn't tell you. I know it's not 2019, but I think we could get an RMC ground up hybrid for 2020. That would be really cool. But just imagine this. Think about it this way Diamondback 2009. Oh, I got water in my glasses. That's annoying. Anyway, Diamondback 2009. We didn't get a new coaster for another five whole years, okay? That was to save up for a huge investment to demolish Son of Beast and build Banshee. And then two years, and then we've... No, sorry, three years, we had missed the 2022 will be Kings Island's 50th anniversary. Whatever it is, I think it's going to be a B&M after seeing that Cedar Fair trademark for Kings Island. I'm torn between a dive and a giga. Um, I think a dive coaster would be stupid at our park. I don't want one, but Cedar Fair is adding it to all the parks. But a Giga would be pretty sweet. And I believe a Giga coaster is exactly what we need. I think it just finishes it off. Personally, I'm not saying we need, need one, but it would be cool to have one. So, I'll talk more about this once I get off the ride. And I'll try the beast. Okay, so as I was saying about the Sun of Beast Revival, um, I think a B&M would fit, a Giga would fit perfectly. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure we know it's going to be a B&M at this point. It could be an RMC. We know it's not going to be Intamin because them and Cedar Fair are not on great terms right now. Um, I'm not rolling out a Mac coaster either, but... A coaster coming within the next few years, especially 2022, I mean, look at that, that's King's Island's 50th anniversary, that's going to be something big, I would imagine. Uh, could be a giga, could not. I'm not going to call shots on what type of to toaster, wow. what kind of coaster it is, but I am going to say, I don't think it'll be something to be seen. Sorry, it's fun, I just don't like the idea of it. You know, today just feels like another one of those days where I want to ride Diamondback like 25 times in a row. Because it's running amazing today. It's not that hot out. The lines are stupid short. They're letting it flood the station instead of picking the signing rows. So yeah, guys, I think I'm losing my mind. I haven't ate or drank anything. Oh, oh that's why I have drank a bunch of water at the park. But I haven't ate anything all day, so... Yeah, I'm crazy.
I don't know how I go to these theme parks, run around all day and not get hungry. Well, I'm a little hungry, but I get a little pass out or anything like that. Yeah, you gotta save money though if you don't have a meal plan, so probably just stop at McDonald's or Chick fil A on the way home. I always gotta admire how quiet it is back here and how it feels like a ghost town. I actually truly, truly love it. It's so nice and quiet back here, and then occasionally the map will just swing on by back here, and that's it. That's just dead silent. I love it. <laughs> Look at this. Bat is a complete ghost town. I'm like one of seven people back here. Well, this is going to be nice. Guys, I just had the greatest diamond back ride I've ever had in my life. I lightly threw the restraint down, hoping that I wouldn't get uh, beyond four clicks. And I'm pretty sure I got two clicks because that felt super loose for a three click. So I just got insane massive ejector, or not ejector, floater airtime. And the other cool part was it was back seat, so I also got to get wet and reach the splash bar. So yeah, that was pretty cool. That's been the highlight of my day so far, I think, in meeting all you enthusiasts. I found the sun. There he is. I found him. Okay guys, we're about to get a group of six enthusiasts to T-Post on Woodstock Express. This is going to be hilarious and I think people are going to hate us after this ride. It's going to be a nightmare. It's going to be a nightmare? We'll see what happens. Who's, who's excited to T-Post? Alright, we're out here. Just having a good time at King's Island. Alright, I'll have you guys know. I have indeed done this, now I'm filming kids, okay, I have indeed done this T-posing, but not with six full-grown enthusiasts, so yeah, it's not we're about to get my other, yeah, us six enthusiasts, we're about to do this, the amount of books we're getting, the amount of books, Let's go. About the cheat goes the heck out of this run. Alright, sorry guys, I gotta be honest with you. This is never coming back. Sorry, it's not gonna have the Son of Beast theme. I think it's stupid. Sorry if I offended you. Have a nice day. Guys, rant time. You ever see this guy jumping jeweled coasters? Yeah, don't ride Diamondback with him. I got three clicks, and he pushed it down. I can see through the shirt. Yeah, you should be ashamed of yourself. Look what you did. <laughs> wow, these are such good representations. Major sarcasm. Right in the middle of a vlog. Why? Why? Shout out to Minga Dross. Yeah! They are absolutely crazy. They're yeah, having a competition to see who can keep their arm in the longest. Mm, this is really painful! So, who's going to give in first? Hey, yeah, it's really cold, huh? Yeah, who's going to give in first? Oh, gosh! You guys are insane. Bye! See ya! I'm gonna end up getting frostbite, but I want to win this. Two most competitive people. Alright. Ah. And Case, is it Casey or Cassie? Would you like to shake my hand? Cassie wins. I think that's how you say it. It's Allie, Coaster Cat 465. And we got Casey from Block Breaks. This is guys' first time on El Rock now, but you guys excited? Yes! 
All right, let's do it. All right, so we just did last night of the ride. I can't speak. Last ride of the night <laughs> on Peace. Either, but that was amazing. They did front row AC. for their Kings Island visit. What'd you guys think? Awesome. That was worth it. That was worth. Worth the, the wait. Yeah. How long did we drive for this? Because it was worth every every second we were on the road. Wow. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. It's my favorite thing to do here. It's my dad's too. Oh yeah. It opened it on my dad's so, birthday, so yeah. This thing never my gets dad, old at night. My dad will be so proud. Alright, so it's been a great day at Kings Island. I've met so many new enthusiasts and Woo! had so much fun hanging out. I love meeting people. Bye! We're on our way out of the park. And I have not got food all day, so someone help me. I've drank like. Your mom right now. Okay. Coaster mom. Okay. 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 So, yep, we're just headed out of here. Had a great day. Uh, excited to see. I might be able to go to Cedar Point next Saturday with a few other enthusiasts, but I can't make a promise of that. So, you guys have a great day, rest of your night, whenever you're watching this. Always remember to keep God number one. If you like this video, subscribe for more, share, comment, and we'll catch you guys next time. As if my night couldn't get any crazier. Um, so apparently at 10, 10, 20 ish, they do what they call lock up on all of their lockers. And they take the stuff out for lockers that haven't been extended. So I'm kind of angry because I paid an $11, which I think was a glitch in itself. Well, I didn't pay it. Thank you, Allie from Coaster Cat, for covering for me. <laughs> like, huge shout out. But. I paid for that extension, and I opened it up and had a stroke because my stuff wasn't in there. But I had to wait an extra hour, so it's like 12.06 a.m. I legit have not had food all day. There's a storm rolling in, so it came in just in time. I felt the wind picking up, so I'm about to leave the park. It's been a great day overall. That part kind of sucked, but luckily I'm just going to beat the storm. I've got my keys, my wallet, my phone, everything I need. But, uh, again, huge shout out to everyone who helped pay for my lockers and hang out with me today. It was so much fun. And I can't wait to do it again and meet you guys all again.